Howdy folks, I've decided to to do a bit of bow hunting today with my homemade longbow. So I'm just going to start on goats because uh, it's lost quite a bit of pop over the last couple of weeks. I've been using it quite a lot, so it's probably down to 30 pound. I've spied a, a group of goats up in the paddock up the back of a farm. They're going to be pretty difficult to stalk in on because they're right out in the middle of the paddock at the moment but there's an old dry creek, an old dry watershed that I might be able to sneak up and get close to them so I can get close enough for a shot uh, I'm only shooting on target out to about 20 or 30 metres which is kind of crappy but yeah hopefully I'll be able to get close enough and uh, I'm not too sure how it's going to go videoing it with the GoPro but I'm going to set my DSLR up on a tripod when we get a bit closer and um, hopefully we'll be able to get the stalk on video as well fingers crossed all my mates are too busy working to come out and give me a hand I'm the only bum on the west coast turns out so anyway see how it goes uh, that was a bastard the uh, the wind changed just as I started my stalk looks like there's a bit of a front coming in and uh, the big old billy goat knew something was up. I obviously smelt people before, and yeah, as soon as he caught my wind, up he went. But there's a bunch more out in the paddock there I might be able to get up on. I don't know, it's pretty open. I don't think I'll be able to sneak across and get in there without them seeing me. So my other plan is to sneak up around the edge of the paddock and come down on top of the ones that are out there, but there seems to be a lot of mucking around just for a goat. The thing is I've never shot a goat with my bow and arrow before I might give it a crack and see if I can get up and get in closer to these things I've actually got the GoPro mounted onto the bow here I better straighten it up a wee bit so it'll be interesting to see if, uh, if I get the shot I'll put it on a bit of an angle so I think I shoot on about that angle so it should work anyway I'll reattach the GoPro and then I'll try and sneak in on those other ones meanwhile my camera is still in the forest there videoing all this Bloody hell. Oh, it's really hard, I can't quite get up the edge of the paddock here so I've got to go up this little creek and climb out of a gorgy section. I just had to slide down that bank because there was a nanny out there watching me. Well, I'm going to have to leave the other camera behind because it's just too hard to stalk through this bush with a tripod and a camera, a longbow and a couple of arrows. I'm bugging it if I know I'm going to get this bank. Hopefully it allows me a chance further around the corner. So much supplejack here. made it to the creek bed undetected now I've got a stalk about 200 meters down the creek and try to get close enough for a shot <sighs> she's warm shit there's no cover for the next 200 meters I'll see if I can sneak in I can't be bucket sitting here for two hours till it gets dark. Probably four hours. down 
here in the paddock. In the creek. I've got another arrow in the paddock over there somewhere. I might go find that one first. And then we'll go see if we can track this goat down. That was a bit of humour. I just uh, <laughs> had someone yelling at me from the farmhouse, so I went down to see what all the fuss is about. And there's some lady there. I actually know a pet screaming and yelling at me what I'm doing on the property. And it turns out the old fella's losing his marbles. <laughs> I just called him this afternoon to ask if I could go for a hunt, and he said, "Yep, no problem. Go shoot a goat, mate." So I'm up here, shot the goat. I'm tracking it down, walking across the paddocks, and uh, yeah, he's forgotten already. That was about two hours ago. <laughs> So pretty comical but yeah she said he's got a very short memory he's been at the window watching me walk around the back of his paddocks <laughs> cursing and swearing under his breath <laughs> who was that guy out there shooting my animals so, oh, a bit of humor now i gotta go find this bloody goat i'm bloody knackered i got i've just seen him ahead of me and he's still very much alive by the looks of it Well, as it so happens, with the farmer's wife yelling and shouting, he jumped up and took off running again. And I uh, found where he was lying down, big pile of blood. Uh, he legged it up this little creek and uh, disappeared into yonder forest. So no doubt he's not going to make it very, very far. The arrow was all blood up to here anyway up to about there so it was fairly well in it was a little bit too far back <coughs> but he did run with it in for a while so bit of a bugger first animal i've shot with a bow and lesson learned give him at least 20 minutes before you walk in to get him Whew, i gave it about five <laughs> and then i was in there too impatient and now i've got to walk all the way down the other end of the farm hopefully the farmer doesn't take any pot shots at me should be right, this caregiver said she was there for another hour and a half, so fingers crossed you'll keep me under control till I can get my big camera from the corner of the paddock and uh, maybe find the other arrow, but I think that one's gone. Hard work, this bow hunting. Tell you what, I'm looking forward to getting some new Stony Creek summer hunting gear. <laughs> I've got their, their windproof bush suit on at the moment, and my God, it's a warm day. I was sweating like a pig, but I needed to wear it because it was the only thing I had in the van. I had that in my singlet. As you can see, I'm pretty white for a Māori, so... Probably see my, my pile on the arms coming a mile away. As it so happened, I managed to sneak right up. I found two if I put the hood on. They looked at me and I stayed real still. They didn't move, kind of like a deer. I haven't done much of this close-up goat hunting business. Just spotted another mob They're just up over the creek there it's kind of weird obviously never been shot at before they're right next to the other ones when I popped over the hill but they're not concerned they're feeding again so I'm gonna try to sneak up this creek and have another crack that was pretty intense <sighs> definitely a a lot more intense and a lot harder than rifle shooting anyway or rifle hunting or the bent over double walking you have to do and the crawling on the hands and knees and the trying to stop the bow getting tangled in supplejack and the bloody arrows knocking together and making a racket i've got a jandal homemade jandal quiver but it uh, doesn't fit this bow and this bow's also lost a lot of pop as you can see It's starting to split and crack. I've fired it quite a few times in the last couple of weeks, just getting the hang of it, getting more accurate with it. I also think the problem was on that first goat that I shot at, I was just aiming at the general shoulder area. I wasn't aiming small. It always pays to aim small, hit big. 
I wasn't really focusing on that one point I needed to hit. I just kind of popped up and aimed for the general area behind the shoulder, which was a bit of a mistake. I tell you what, I'm pretty knackered at the moment. I walked all the way up through the forest, through that supple jack, and then chased that goat for a couple of hundred meters. I only saw a little bit of blood on his flank. It was quite a good blood trail on the grass where the arrow came out, so I'm quite surprised he stopped bleeding so quickly. So that was uh, my first goat hunting adventure with a bow. I did learn a few lessons. Always focus on the exact point you're aiming for and make sure when you draw the arrow back it doesn't rattle. That's what alarmed the goats, the arrow rattling on the bow. I noticed that when I was looking at the videos. Every time I drawed the arrow back it went doo -doo 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 -doo, and uh, the goats just freaked out because it was a noise they weren't accustomed to. Even though they didn't know I was there that noise just totally put them off so I'm going to have to put either a bit of fur or some kind of polar fleece padding on there maybe a bit of a bit of rabbit hair or something I believe some people use or hold the arrow with my finger um, I do feel sorry for the little bugger I think as bow hunters there is a, a responsibility to practice and practice and know your distance that you can shoot out to know how far you are accurate to so the animals don't get wounded but, um, I was pretty confident of the shot it was a little bit far back but it, uh, there was a whole heap of blood there and uh, I found where he was lying down, but I was just a bit too impatient. I only give him a couple of minutes before I chased him down. Ideally, wait at least 20 minutes, give him a chance to lie down and expire so they don't take off and run. I've had the same with deer hunting, actually. If I've hit him, um, you know, just a bit far back in the guts or whatever, they can just go and go and go for, for kilometres until they run out of juice. So I should have known better. I should have just waited patiently. But no, I had to go right in there, didn't I? So yeah, I'll be doing a bit more of that. Uh, hopefully I'll get a bow hunting sponsor soon and someone will be able to provide me with a recurve bow that's long enough uh, to suit me because I keep snapping them. So I'm going to give advanced archery a call right now and see if they can hook me up. Me and the kids that is. Uh, those boys will be shooting animals in no time at all. So I'll leave you with that. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for my next exciting bow hunting adventure. Tally ho! Oh, cheers. Cheers, guys. Yeah, Stony Creek. Good gear. Arva Industries, quality suppressors, freeze-dried, vacuum-packed meals. Sford, good knives, those ones. Made in New Zealand. HGD Designs, handmade leather goods, pouches, all the rest of it. Eco rafting. Grab your rod, grab your rifle, come rafting, shoot a deer, catch a fish. Thanks, guys. Thanks for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Fan-bloody-tastic. Cheers.